Father's Day 2021. Yes. Okay. Is everybody right. relaxed? I'm okay. So we can look at any camera. cameras. All right. Just have fun. And all right. Everybody wave to everybody. Hello, everybody. Hi. Hey, what's up, Midtown? Happy Father's Day. We're so pumped that you just chose to hang out with us for a few minutes. Listen, I'm in the living room right now, and I have three of the four of my favorite people sitting on the couch with me. So I'm going to let them introduce themselves, and then we'll get started, okay? We'll start over here. Hi, I'm Brooklyn. And what's your name? Gia. Well, we got to sit up so they can see you. Gia. Gia. Okay, and, and then the tall one. I'm Macy. So we have Brooklyn, Gia, and Macy. These are three of my four favorite people, my three amazing daughters, and then my beautiful wife. She's actually behind the camera right now, so, but that's okay. But happy Father's Day. Listen, at Midtown, we really are priding ourselves and really try to do this the best that we can, that we are one big family. And not only are we a family, but we like to have fun. So today we decided that we're going to have a little fun. Is that okay, girls? Yeah. Oh, yeah. For Father's Day, we're going to have a little fun today. So I have a few questions to start off with, and I want them to answer the questions. So we'll see what maybe they have to say. And why don't you ask your kids, dads, why don't you ask your kids these questions and maybe find out what some of their answers are. So girls, we're going to ask a couple questions, okay? And you all can talk and give your answers, and let's just see where we, what we say, and we'll go from there. Is that okay? Yes. yes. Okay, so here's the first question. Number one, what is one of your favorite memories with your dad? Going to the daddy-daughter dance. Oh, okay, daddy-daughter dance. My that was favorite, very fun. My favorite memory was when we got ice cream and we watched a movie at the movie theater together. Well, we always love ice cream, oh, and yes. we always okay. love movies, so that's mm -hmm. a great answer. Mace? My favorite was last year when there was a huge snow. Dad built us <laughs> like a little slide down our hill, because we have a hill on our side, and he built a slide so we could do it, go down on our boogie boards. It was so fun. <laughs> boogie was boards fun. in the snow. People, <laughs> they work. that's what we do in St. Louis, <laughs> okay? Work. We build ramps. That's, that, those are three of my most fun things in the world. Okay, ready for the next question? Yes. yes. Okay, so here's question number two. If I were an animal, what animal do you think I would be? Ooh, me. Oh. A horse. Giraffe. <laughs> whoa, 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 let's go one at a time here. Okay, Gia, what, 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 what do you horse. say? Horse. A horse. Why a horse, Gia? Because you look like one. <laughs> Oh, great. I look like a horse. Well, okay, Brooklyn. Um, I think a giraffe. A dra why, why a giraffe? Because you're so tall. I am a little bit on the tall side, aren't I? Yes. Okay, well, I appreciate you calling me a giraffe. Is pretty tall. Gee, I'm still trying to get over the horse thing, but we'll, we'll make it. Mace, what I think animal? you're a polar bear because you're, you like to be cold and you love Alaska. I do like Alaska. You hate to be hot. Like there's like, you are miserable, you are miserable when you're hot. Except, I am, except we like the summertime right now, right? Yeah, I like we're summer. in a cold pool. I mean, we could be back in school, but no one wants to be back in school. So we're glad it's summertime, but yes, you are exactly right. Hmm. I, I really do like being cold and I freeze. Do I freeze the family out sometimes? Uh, yeah. A little bit? Yes. I'm freezing when I go to Okay. Sleep. All right, well, I, I'm glad I'm a polar bear, a horse, and a giraffe <laughs> all in one. Okay, ready for the next question? Um, yes. Yeah. All right, here we go. What is one thing you want me to teach you before you go to college? Uh, I want you to teach me how to play really good basketball so I can get a scholarship and go to the WNBA. Yes, I love it. You can do it. And make millions. Man. <laughs> Make me, well, hey, I'm, I'm all Wait, for that. trillions. Let's do trillions. Tri man, millions trillions. trillions. Okay. Yeah. Um, um, Brooklyn, what's one thing that you want me to teach you before you go to college? Um, I don't know how old you have to be to be in college, but I want you to teach me how to drive. Oh, okay. So that's, a, that's a great one. I want you to we teach might let me. Brittany help her with that as well. <laughs> I, want you, I want you to teach me how to ride a horse. Okay. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we she are stuck on horse. this is horse and day. She teach me how to ride a horse. This is horse day. Okay, so I'll help you ride a horse. I'll make sure to help you drive. 
And Macy, we're gonna we we're, we'll step up the basketball. Um, we're gonna practice. make those trillions. Make the trillions. I mean, because look okay. at your t-shirt. All right. If you could tell everyone what my favorite food is, what do you what would you tell them that my favorite food is? Gia, what would you say my favorite food is? Sushi. Sushi. Ooh, that's a good that's one. That's a great that's one. That's a good one. Okay. Mace, what I would, would say you say? Steak. You love steak. Mm, I love both of those. From Texas I would have to say whatever mom makes, you will like it. <laughs> that is so right. <laughs> that is true. Oh yeah. Whatever Listen. mom makes. Okay, he so likes it. along with along with food, what do you what would you say is my favorite restaurant? Ooh. Mace, what would you say is my favorite restaurant? Ah. I mean, White Castle, you love White Castle. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if well, it's your favorite, but it, you like that a lot. It's a it's a hit or miss with White Castles, but I do I do like them every now and then. Okay, Brooklyn, what do you think my favorite? Or what would you um, say maybe my favorite? I have no idea. Mm. Um, Ooh. I'm Ooh, trying to name it. Um, let me say. Okay, Gio, okay. you say it. Andy's. Okay. I love ice cream. <laughs> Andy's. That's a Andy's. high Andy's five on that really one. Good. Um, yes. I also think you like Zia's. Z Ooh, listen. Zia's, Zia's think... on the hill in St. Louis. Brooklyn, mm. what? Um, Starbucks. Mm. Starbucks. Mm. I love Starbucks. I okay, love now, Starbucks. since we're on food, what is my favorite drink? The oat milk, the, the white oat milk latte from Starbucks with soy milk and no whipped cream. Coffee. Definitely coffee. Yes, Gia. What would you say? Uh, milk. 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 <laughs> milk. <laughs> milk. <laughs> I don't even. I don't even drink milk. No. You I like think, milk? I, if it was a contest, I think Brooklyn won that one. I think. Hey, I think yes. coffee. That's coffee true. wins it all. Okay, couple more. Are you ready? We only have a couple more, so everybody take a deep breath. All right. <laughs> wow, Gia. What Just, is my, ready? What is my favorite thing to do in the whole wide play world? Play basketball. Hang out with us. Okay, Gia, what's I mean, my favorite to thing to do basketball. in the whole wide world? Um, hang out with your daughters and go to the daddy-daughter dance. Daddy-daughter oh, dance, good. that's right. Yep. Okay, Th those were great. All right, Watch ready for the last? Here's the last question. That was so sweet. All right, ready? The last question is this. If me and you were to go out on a date, where would you want me to take you? To the movies. Ooh. Movies. I, ooh, yes, yes. Um, I would want you first to take me to Starbucks. Okay, oh, we got a list. Then okay. I want you to take me to McDonald's. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then I want mm. you to take me to Andy's. Okay. And then I want us to go find a dock by the lake and watch the sunset. I love that. Sounds like a great night. Yes. I right, would like. Mace? I would like a Starbucks. <laughs> okay. And then I would like to go to Pizza Hut because Pizza Hut is the best pizza. And then the movies. And then to Target and let me spend money. Target is so good. All right, well, that's, those, are, those are great answers, girls. Now listen, I, I don't know maybe what your kids would say or, or you know, what your, what your traditions are maybe with your family, but you know, one thing Brittany and I have always said for a long time, and I'm gonna try not to cry through all of this, but you know, it, it's important that we really stop, and I have to always make sure that I'm doing this because with with life and just everything we go through, right? Sometimes girls, things just get a little bit crazy and that everything's fast paced. So one thing that I really have to do intentionally is make sure that we carve out time, not just for our, for our family, but for the legacy that we're really trying to build in the future. And this is, this is our legacy. This is, as they laugh, this is our legacy. And whoever your sons or daughters are, fathers, and you know, maybe there are some people that are watching today that, that you're not a father, but you know, the, the thing is, is somebody always looks up to you. So whether you're a, an actual, you know, dad and you have kids or you don't have kids, there's someone always looking up to you. And I think as fathers, and, and mothers and anybody who's a parent, I think one thing that it's important to always remember is 
I think there's three things real quick that we really need to focus on um, as dads. Number one, we need to be dads who listen. And, you know, there's a difference between hearing and listening. There's a difference between just hearing what they say and listening to what, what they say. Because one thing I've learned is if I stop and listen, I'm not just hearing them talk. I'm seeing their heart. I'm understanding who they are as a person. I, I get to know them more and I, and I want to know them more because as I know them now, it will help me to better be able to train them now so they have a great future in, in, the, in the future. And another thing that I think that we have to think of and be intentional about as fathers or people that other people look up to is that we have to be people who instruct. And uh, it's okay to laugh, we're just having a fun day today. It, we have to instruct them. And, and one thing that Brittany and I really try to do is, is make sure that these three amazing girls understand is this, is that uh, sometimes instructions hurt. Right, girls? Yeah. Yes. Sometimes instructions yes. aren't fun, right? No. But it's the instructions of life that will help us to become better people, <laughs> right? Yes. Right? Brooklyn, we don't, we don't like getting in trouble. Macy, no. Gia, we don't like getting in trouble, do we? <laughs> uh, no. It's not very fun. No. But does it help us to become better and learn from it? Yes. Yeah. Yes. You think that, yes. you think, well, what's, nobody likes getting in trouble, right? No. no. But but when we instruct the right way, dads, when we instruct with love, when we instruct the right way, that allows them to live a best, their best life. And I think it's important that we are intentional about that. And the last thing that I really think it's in, that we have to be intentional about as fathers is this, that we have, to, we have to pray for them. I'm not a singer and no one gets to hear me sing except for these three and Brittany. And they laugh at me most of the time when I try to sing, but... One thing that, that I do every night, or at least 98% of the time is, if they're not watching a movie and fall asleep to it, is we sing, what song do we sing, girls, before we go to bed? Peace, peace. Peace, peace. Now, Mace is growing up, and so I don't sing it as much to her, but, but we pray. And with these two, we, you know, they can harmonize, and I'm just kind of there. But we, we need to be intentional about, about praying praying with them, praying for them, praying over their, what their future is, uh, praying over when they get married. Right, girls? Yeah. Yeah? Do you want to get married one day? Yeah. Not have a baby. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do. Why? Why? Why don't you want to have a baby? Well, not right now, right? Cut your stomach. Oh, oh, my. Oh, Lord. I'm sorry. I told you it's unfiltered, people. It's just, hey, you are seeing the real deal. But... But here's the thing, we have to be intentional about praying for our kids, praying for our family, being a father that, that God himself is to us. You know, the Bible says in Psalm, it says this in Psalms 103, 13, as a father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion on those who fear him, not who are scared of him, but who respect him. See, God is obviously the ultimate picture of what a great father looks like a great father who who shares um a great father who loves a great father who cares a great father who gives grace and mercy because that's what he does on on an everyday basis none of us are perfect are any of you girls perfect no no, no. gee are you perfect no are you sure no okay we're like jesus is up here and like yeah. we're all <laughs> the way back there that's true like no that's one true. is perfect in this world not even us no one's perfect but aren't we glad that god loves us every day yeah yes yeah even when we mess up yes yes that's, right that's that's big that's big that when we mess yes. up he forgives us yes he is. does that's big and it, it's amazing to know that no matter what we do he does forgive right yeah. yes so Today, whenever you're watching, you, this may be Wednesday when you're watching. Fathers, dads, people who maybe not, you don't have children yet, but people who other people look up to. I think it's important that we remember those three things. We need to listen. We need to instruct, but instruct the right way. And we need to pray. We need to be people who um, speak life into the future of these people's lives. Because if we don't, who will? If we don't stand with them, if we don't listen to them, if we don't instruct them, if we don't pray for them now, 
then who's going to do that in their future? We have the opportunity to help create the best possible scenarios for their lives right now, 10 years from now. And so I, I, I just, before we go, girls, we're going to pray. And um, if, do you have anything else you want to say um, to, to anybody on Father's Day? That be safe during COVID. Well, yes, yes be safe. We're, we're, we're loosening up, but okay. Mace, you have anything you want to say? Just love your fathers today because they, they're they important. Yeah, and they show you a lot in your life. So, yeah. Couldn't promise I won't cry. I don't have to say anything. All right, Gia, you don't want to no, say anything? No. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Okay, okay, yeah. Gia's, <laughs> Gia said a lot. All right. Yeah. All right, girls, let's pray. And um, let's, let's remind people how much what Brooklyn said, how much Jesus loves them, and how much on Father's Day, what an awesome, awesome way for us to talk about um, a father, and that's talking about Jesus, right? And that he forgives us, that he loves us right where we're at, that no matter what we've done, where we've been, um, anything that, that's gone on in our past, he loves us and he loves you exactly where you're at, and he wants you to know that you just, you call on him, you ask him for help, he'll always be there to help you. All right, girls, let's pray for, let's pray for everybody, okay? God, thank you so much for today. Thank you, Lord, for my three amazing girls. Thank you, God, for um, allowing us to, to just come to you when everything looks crazy and when things look hard. God, thank you for forgiving us like Brooklyn said. Thank you, Lord, that when we do mess up and that when we do maybe not the right things that you just say, you know what, I love you, I forgive you, I'm gonna help you, and let's just keep walking and let's just keep doing things to the best that we can. Because what Brooklyn said is true, no one's perfect, but we're so thankful that we have a good, good father like Jesus. God, I pray, Lord, that you would touch every single dad today, Lord, that you would just bless them, that God, you would um, help them to continue to remember how blessed they are. That Lord, even those that don't have maybe kids of their own, God, remind them every day that there are people who look up to them. That God, they may not technically be what this world calls a dad, but God, they are people who get to speak life and to help people now for a great future later. Lord, thank you for my girls. Thank you for our church. Thank you for these people watching today. We love you. We praise you. In Jesus' name, everybody said? Amen. Amen. All right, girls, on three. Ready? We're going to tell everybody happy Father's Day on three. Ready? One, two, three. Happy Father's Day. All right. We love you. We hope you have a great day. Fathers, have a great day. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.